In this question, we're looking at the 2011 HSC and question 13. So, as with the other questions, I'm going to go through it with a work solution. So, you might want to pause the video and give this a go yourself and then have a look at the work solutions. If you're going to do that, think about laying out your formulas first. Okay, so the table shows national accounts data for consumption and national income in an economy. Okay, question asks us, what is the new level of equilibrium income in year three if investment increases by 40 billion? So essentially the question is saying in year number three, tell me what this value is. Okay, so interesting question, but I think we're seeing some elements that we can work with. So let's set out some of the relevant formulas. So I know that the change in income is going to equal the multiplier times the change in aggregate demand. What I know here is that our change in Y is what we want to know, our multiplier we need to know, and that we know our change in aggregate demand is going to be a change in investment by $40 billion. Okay, now I need to think, how do I get K? So I know that K equals, since I've got consumption, I'm going to focus on MPC. Okay, so then I also know that the marginal propensity to consume equals the change in consumption over the change in income. So if I then talk about this column as being MPC, I know it's the change in consumption over the change in income. The change in consumption between the years would be 90. The change in income would be 150. I know that this is going to be 3 on 5, which gives me 0 0.6. So then I know that MPC equals 0 0.6. And that is the key now, because then I can say, okay, the multiplier equals 1 on 1 minus MPC, which equals 1 on 1 minus 0 0.6, which equals 1 over 0 0.4, which gives me 2.5. So then all I need to do is take it from here. So I go my change in Y, which is the key, is going to equal 2.5 the value of the multiplier times 40, the change in aggregate demand. So, therefore, the change in Y is going to equal to 2.5 times 40, which equals 100. So, what I'm going to say here is that we know that the change in income equals 100. So, therefore, in year 3, it's going to equal the year two level plus the change in income, which is going to equal 300 plus 100 equals 400. And 400 will give us C. Just in case you missed what I was doing here, the year three level of income, which is what the question wants us to know, will equal the year two level of income which is 300, plus the change in Y, which we've worked out is 100. So therefore, in year three, the new equilibrium level of income would be $400 billion.